this video I'm showing you how I watch television at night. I like to wind down an hour or so before bedtime and watch something stupid where I ain't got to think. So I don't want to give my location away, but I'm in the middle of three metropolitan areas about 60 to 65 miles away. Can't have cable out here, can't have internet out here. I was watching over the air television for I think, I went, I think I went four years. And then when COVID hit, I saw the same Western three times in a row. Over a year. I got a little old. So I'm going to go to the roof and show you what I got going on. But I'm also going to show you what I've got going on here. And what I'm going to be doing in the future also. So the TV, what you see right now, is over there. I've got it on mute because I don't want any copyright. And now I'm going to step in front of it. Because I don't want any copyright. Thanks, YouTube. So, what I've got going on, I've got four over the air antennas on the roof, and I've built an array by doing that. Most people tell you that you can only use one, two antennas at the max. What I've got going on, I've got one antenna, UHF and VHF, pointed toward a town where they play a lot of football. I've got another antenna, UHF, VHF, pointing to a town that used to be a secret city. And then I've got another one where the, a choo-choo train used to be a lot. I've got two antennas for that. I've got a UHF, then I've got a 65-mile VHF. The thing to know, and you've got to look on Google Earth if you want to get this dialed in, You've got to see how many ridges that signal's got to go over. Going that way, I've got two ridges that I've got to get over. That's pretty tough. Going this way, I've got a, almost, a, I want to call it a half a ridge. I've got a hump to go over, and it's a clear shot for 50 miles. And in the other town, I've got two humps to go over that, which is pretty tough for a signal. So what I'm doing, I've got it over the air, but I also went with a pay satellite. Well, it, it, everybody says, I can't, how do you afford satellite? Well, if you got a streaming package, the satellite's still cheaper than a streaming package. But, I don't have the local channels. That's where they get you. So, I ordered it with no local channels. Then I've got a USB to over there connection. It's a tuner. So, now the tuner goes into this box. I've also got my TV tuner. So, I put a combiner. I'm sorry, I lied. I didn't put a combiner. I put a splitter. A combine will run the signal. The splitter splits the signal. So what I've got, I've got a two-way splitter here. One going to this tuner, one going to that tuner. I've also got a booster from Signal or Channel, Channel Master. It's a signal booster. I've got it plugged in behind the TV here where you can't see it. That made my channels look from SD to HD by doing that. So we're going to turn the camera off here. I'm going to go to the roof and show you the other things that i got going on. It's semi-complicated. So it's super windy up here. This is a 65 mile, 65 mile VHF antenna. This is a UHF antenna. I've got the cable coming here down to a three combiner. I've got a, you see this box right here? That is a VHF, UHF combiner box for this antenna here. Comes in here, down here's that combiner. This is pointing to the town where they play a lot of football. It goes to the other town. And then you notice this antenna is pointed slightly going that way. And this is going this way. I used a channel mapping app where you get it on your phone and you dial it in. These, if these are off just a few degrees, they will not pick up. And then there's a third turbine. So I'm going to go down and show you the next step and then the future stuff. But this is my four antenna array. One, two, three. And that was the big daddy one right there. And something else that I did, you see that's on a satellite dish mount. Then I got a piece of conduit to bring it up. And that gets me over one of the humps that I talked about. 
And I've also found out that the uh, HVAC aluminum full tape helps me pick up better signals too. Then I've got mastic tape put down on the roof because I don't want to penetrate the roof as much as least as possible. So here we are at the next step. This is the pay satellite I have. And what I did, this is something they don't do for you. I've got this on an inch and a quarter conduit. This is half inch EMT that I flattened out with a hammer. Put some self-tapping screws in here. It is sturdy as a rock. And then what I did also, when I dug the hole, I drilled out the conduit. I've got a piece of rebar drilled through the conduit that way and that way, and that keeps it from twisting the satellite dish. And then with these braces, that keeps it. You're like, man, that's overkill. Why'd you do that? Well, that wind turbine gives you a clue. The wind is horrible up here. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I've got the kit. I'm going with a Glory Star system because eventually I know I'll give this up. This is Glory Star. This is what this would be. It's a religious service out of um, California. You can tune the receiver to pick up other free satellites. This is gonna be a KA band satellite dish. And I've got this mounted on two inch. Very deep, very solid, because it's a 39 inch dish. And that's how I'm gonna do it. And I've got an Orby TV that I'm gonna play with. Uh, I ordered Orby and then they went out of business. So I got a free dish out of it. So I'm gonna put a, a $20 receiver on it and then play with it. But with this KA, Eventually, if I get dissatisfied or they keep going up on price on me, I'll get rid of them and I'll just go with the free stuff. And then too, like I said, with the antennas that you see right there, that gives me, I'm getting 57 over the air channels. That's hard to beat. Everything from PBS to NBC to all the good stuff. So this is gonna wrap the video up and this is how I watch TV being off grid in the, uh, in the shed, the cabin house. Appreciate you being here. Take care, God bless.